hey guys welcome back to our channel it's a girl funny lungu back with another reaction video if you're new welcome if you're not welcome back thank you for 21,000 subscribers you guys are the best hope you guys are doing all right and may stay blessed so today i'm going to be reacting to sheikh ami did that the most nonsensical religion so without wasting time let's get into the video you see the christian missionary he says you see your prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam he was not only an ummi, ummi one who is not learned, we agree, that he didn't go to school. Our Nabi Karim Salaam, he didn't know how to read or write. No human being ever taught him a word. His teacher was his creator. So he said, not only he was an ummi, but he was ignorant. He was jahil. Now that's, we take exception to that. Ummi, unlearned, we accept. His teacher was his creator. When you say his jahil, as jahil fellow and ignorant fellow, he's going to mislead you. So he says, your prophet is also a jahil. He said, what, what makes you to say that? He said, you see in your Quran, in Surah Maryam, in Surah Maryam, Ayah 23, I think it says, فَأَتَتْ بِهِ قَوْمَهَا تَحْمِلُهُ So at length she brought the babe to her people. After Isa al -Islam was born, the circumstances being peculiar, that she, well, this child was born without a father, she had retired to a remote place in the east, and after the birth of the child, she returns with the child, carrying him in her arms. بِهِ قَوْمَهَا تَحْمِلُهُ They said, قَالُوا They said, يَا مَرْيَمُ لَقَدْ جِئْتِ شَيْنْ فَرِيَا Say, oh Mary, truly an amazing thing has thou brought. Shah, shah. We know you're not married, and you bring a child, a bastard child. You know, you're carrying shamelessly, parading in the, in the, in the village. يَا اُفْتَحَارُونَا O sister of Harun, ma kana abu kim raasau im, wa ma kana kum ki baqiya. Said, O sister of Harun, your father was not an evil man, no, he was your mother a woman and chaste. How is it that you brought this by pastor child into the world? That's the insinuation. That's the charge. What does she say? What can she do? For asharat ilay, but she points to the babe and asks him. They say, "Qalu kaifan nukallimu man kana fil mahdi sabiya." Said, How can we talk to one who is a child in the cradle? And by miracle, Hazrat Isa Ali Salam spoke. Qala inni Abdullah. Most certainly I am the servant of Allah. Atani al Kitab. He's given me revelation. Wajalani Nabiya. He's made me a prophet. He defended his mother against an unbelieving audience. But the charge is, the charge is, your prophet didn't know the difference between this Maryam, the mother of Jesus, and that Maryam, the sister of Musa and Harun. Musa Ali Salam and Harun Ali Salam had a sister called Miriam. In Arabic, Maryam. Really, Mary. Say, Jesus had a mother called Mary. In Arabic, Maryam. In Hebrew, Miriam. Say, but your prophet didn't know the difference between this Maryam and that Maryam. Ukhta Harun, sister of Harun. And Harun lived some 1,300 years before Jesus. That Maryam lived 1,300 years before this Maryam. And your prophet is confused. He didn't know the difference between this Maryam and that Maryam. He's ignorant. <laughs> That's the charge. That's the charge. What's the explanation? <coughs> so we say, look, no, this is a respectful way of putting that look, your father was a good man. You come from such a noble family of the prophets of the, the Bani Israel. You descended from there. And now, how can you bring this child without a husband? And the Muslim will accept. What I'm telling you, you'll accept yourself. Please no. You come from such a noble family. All the prophets of Bani Israel. Your father was a good man. Your mother was a good woman. And how do you bring this bastard child? That's the charge. So I said, that they're trying to say you come from a noble ancestry, noble family, prophetic family. You all accept. But the Christian says, no, 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 no. Your prophet didn't know the difference. Because he doesn't want to listen to your reason, to your logic. Your prophet didn't know the difference. He was ignorant. How do you answer that? So now the thing is thrown at me. I says, very easy. If you know the answer to your problem is in your book. I say, it's in your book. Where? As the first book of the New Testament. Gospel of St. Matthew. First book. Chapter 1. Verse 1. Can you forget that? 1, 1, 1. You know, when you have three aces in a game of cards, you are a sure winner. Book 1. Chapter 1. Verse 1. Is the answer is there to your problem? Is there? 
So what does it say? It says, this is the genealogy of Jesus Christ. That's what it says. I'm reading to him, to the Christian. This is the genealogy, the ancestry of Jesus Christ, the son of Abraham, the son of David. Right? He said, right. I'm reading correctly. He said, yes. The son of Abraham, the son of David. Right? He said, right. In the Gospel of St. Mark, he's described as the son of God. Right? He said, right. In the Gospel of St. Luke, he's described as the son of Joseph. Right? He said, right. He is the son of Abraham, and Abraham is his father. He is the son of David, and David is his father. He is the son of God, that God is his father. The son of Joseph, Joseph is his father. A guy who's got four fathers, what do you call him in your language? Your st- <laughs> <laughs> no, what do you call him? In your street language, what do you call that guy who's got four fathers? <laughs> He said, no, 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 it doesn't mean that. I said, then what does it mean? I'm telling you, I know it doesn't mean that. But your book says he's the son of Abraham. Abraham is his father. Son of David, David is his father. Joseph the carpenter is his father. And God is his father. He's got four fathers. You're Jesus. Four fathers. What do you call him? (laughs) No. So, my dear brothers and sisters, you see, if you are working, if you are trying to do a certain job of work, all knowledge is filled up unto you. Our Nabi Kareem Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he gave us the secret of knowledge. He said, Balligo Anni Walawaya. Deliver the message regarding me, even if it is one verse. Is there one thing you know about Islam? Share it. Is there not a single thing that you know about Islam? Not one thing you can talk about Islam? Then you better get lost. You are dead wood on the house of the ship of Islam. We are carrying you dead wood. You don't know one thing you can talk about Islam? Something, one thing, man, about your hygiene. Huh? I understand that uh, Khalid Balala, you know, he made some remarks about the president, you know, that he doesn't wash his backside and how can he be the president? <laughs> Look, one thing, man, one thing, you know, don't you know your hygiene? We are the most hygienic people with all our poverty. We are the most hygienic people. We are the most hospitable people. Wallah, we are. Talk about it, man. Talk about something that you know about Islam. Huh? If you don't know about theology, about psychology, about philosophy, you know not have the Quran, don't worry. Do you know one thing about Islam? Any one thing you can talk? Man, open your mouth. As soon as you start talking about one thing, that one thing again and again, Allah adds more. This is how knowledge increases. This is how I got my knowledge. You know, I didn't go to university to learn the Bible, Darul Ulum, to learn Islam, no, nothing. Just doing, talking, 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 and problems, problems, and the problem is created and I get the solution. Problem is created, so my knowledge increases. Same thing, secret with you. Our Nabi said, Deliver the message regarding me, even if it is one verse. Go to town, my dear brothers and sisters, you know, something that you know of us, learn to talk, and as soon as the guy poses a problem for you, you'll be looking for the answer. And when the answer comes, you'll be able to retain it. Like this, I can keep on throwing things at you. Facts, facts, facts. This is more in- mere entertainment. You, oh. you go home and it's forgotten. I said, Mr. D, that gave a fantastic lecture. What did he say? <laughs> we don't know what he said. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Just one thing, pick it up and go to town. The Christian, he hasn't got a leg to stand upon. He's the most nonsensical religion on earth. Most nonsensical. Adam and Eve eat the apple and we all go to hell for that. The most nonsensical religion on earth. And that guy is getting converts. And we are not getting converts with the Quran. Simply because we are not talking. Jazakallah for this opportunity. An interesting video. It's getting cold. Um, I just love how they are seated and he's having this talk with them um and um i haven't come across any religion that uh will say we're the cleanest people and from what i've seen myself is uh, muslim are actually clean you know they're always cleaning up after doing um whatever business it is that they're doing and that's why i say instead of competing with people we should learn from them you know you don't have to be muslims to be clean or to have better hygiene you can just you know what let me do as they do there's nothing wrong with learning from um, someone 
I don't think I can really say much otherwise this like I said was an interesting video if you guys have something to say let me know any comments let me know down below if there's anything you want me to react to uh, comment down below as well and I just enjoyed how they're just seated and here listening to Ami do that it just looks amazing you know um, make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next reaction video